All right, welcome to Cumulative Frequency with FinProf. We are going to get started here by, I am FinProf. We're going to get started here by describing the cumulative frequency and what it does and how we get there. So what we're going to do is that we have these observations and we're going to call these shoe sizes. All right, so I'm thinking shoe sizes this is a great example. I use this in class all the time. It's usually normally distributed. Um, it is, you know, non-political. It's, uh, it's a great, it's a great observation to use. So here's a set of sizes from one of my classes. I made these up, but whatever. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the regular frequency. So let's do that. Let's count up all the sevens. One, two, three, four. There are five sevens. Let's count up all the eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, Eights. Let's count up all the nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Starting to look like it might be normally distributed. One, two, three, four, five, tens, elevens. One, there are two elevens. There are two elevens. There are one, one twelve. There's one twelve, and there's one thirteen. Look at that. There is a thirteen. Anybody else? I think that's all of our observations. So cumulative frequency exists when we add these up together. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to add these up. All right. We're going to add them all up together so that we know where we stand at any given time. Five is always the beginning. So that's five. Technically, we're beginning over here at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. But all of these frequencies over here are zero. So there's really not much to do there. Um, so we have five and that's where we start a cumulative frequency. Then we take five and we add six to that. Five times six is, or five plus six is 11. What we're saying here at 11 is there are 11 observations that have, or seven students, right? Students observations that have a shoe size of six or smaller. That's what cumulative frequency really tells us. It tells us what's everything on the left-hand side of the table or the left-hand side of the chart, right? So that's what that's what we're really getting at here. I gotta find a better way to do that there. All right, so let's keep going. 11 plus seven is 18. 18 plus five is 23. 23 plus two is 25. Plus one is 26. Plus one is 27. Right. And so what happens here at 27 is that we know, first of all, capital N, this is should be total observations. That's the first thing that we should realize. The last one should be the total number of observations. There should be 20 ob 27 observations over here on the left hand side. All right. The next thing that this tells us is that this is 100 percent that 27, 27 total observations. By the time we get to the end of this list, we should be at 100 percent. And we can do some of this um, graphically. Let's create a table here. Let's do this. Let's do this table right under the observations. Let me see if I can get this right. If I grab this table here and I come all the way across, all right? So we're going to look for first of all the f the seven. That's a seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. And the first thing I want to do is construct a traditional histogram, right? So how many observations are there of sevens? There are five observations here. There are six eights. There are seven nines. There are five tens. I'm making these small for a reason. There are two elevens. There is one twelve and there is one thirteen. What we're going to do when we do cumulative and we draw it in a graph is we're going to take these five observations and we're going to pile them here on top of this six for a total count of 11. Okay. And then we're going to take these 11. Let me do it in yellow. These 11 and we're going to put them here on top of the seven for a total count of 18. And then we're going to take these 18 and put them on top of the five for a total count of 23. You see what's happening here. You go, we put these 23 over here for the next two and we get 25 total observations, 26. 
six total observations, 27 total observations. Later, when we do a continuous uh, cumulative distribution, this will look more like, like that, like an S curve. And you'll see, you'll see big brainy statisticians often talk about the S curve. And that's what that's really, but don't worry about that for now. What we want is for the time that you get to the final observation, the final observation, the time to get to the 13, you want this guy to represent 100% of all your observations. You want this guy to represent everything. And so what a cumulative uh, distribution tells us, let me find a different color here. What a cumulative different distribution tells us is how quickly, how quickly are we taking all the observations in? And here, we're starting small, and then very quickly, we get up to the middle. And this is weird because our mean and our median are going to be in here somewhere. And so very quickly, we get up high, and then it kind of levels off. That's a good way to measure that this is a relatively normal distribution. And that's why cumulative frequencies are important, because they give us another way to look at the way that data is spread out. And again, the way that we do this is by taking the relative frequency or the normal frequency and adding to it the next observation. So 5 and 6 is 11, 11 and 7 is 18, 18 and 5 is 23, 23 and 2 is 25, 25 and 1 is 26, 26 and 1 is 27. And that's how we calculate cumulative frequency.